Hey everybody, Lenny, Dynamite Diesel Products. Hey, this morning we're going to be going over the LLY, LBZ, and LMM injector nozzles. Uh, you'll be getting a box just like this, and inside this box has your nozzles. We've got copper washers and grease. And that grease is actually transmission assembly lube, and it's kind of a cool tool to help you get the injector back in the hole. So I'll be showing you what that's exactly for. So. There's that, there's our nozzles. A couple of things we're gonna want, just a regular pick owl, regular wooden toothpick, hand pliers. We're gonna have ratchet, torque wrench. Torque wrench is gonna be set to 35 pound feet. This is a tool that we use often in the shop and we'll have these ready to go here in just a little bit. Right now, you can use just a standard 20 millimeter end wrench in your vise. So, step one, take your injector, Remove the existing copper washer. Bear in mind that your injector is going to have a bunch of carbon and whatnot just right inside that groove. It's going to be important that you clean all that carbon out of there and make sure that you get the carbon and the debris completely removed from there. I'm using just a standard bucket of brake clean here and a paper towel to try and clean all that stuff out. Now I've got fancier tools here at the shop that can make this a little bit easier on my life like an old sonnet machine. Uh, since you probably don't have access to one of those again repeat process Till you get all the carbon out and once you've ensured that the carbon's all out You've got as much of that garbage off there as possible Then it's going to be simply put it up in your end wrench um, End wrench is just there to make sure that when you're going and breaking that nozzle nut free which is going to be on there pretty snug I mean hundred thousand miles worth of heat cycles and whatnot kicker free now, injector, it's really important that you start working over a good clean paper towel at this point because you're about to see some parts fall out of this thing that you've never seen before. If you lose any of those parts, you can send it all back in. We can put it back together and get you new stuff, but they are calibration shims, so we'd have to do it on a test end. Old injector nozzle off. We're going to grab one of our new injector nozzles, any one of these new ones. These are a 50 horsepower improvement nozzle. Now, just to show you what would happen if you were to drop that and lose anything, we've got a calibration shim for the idle. We've got a spring, retraction collar, which is actually a receiver for this little guy right here, and that's a DNH. Just to show you how small that is, you can see that on the end of a wooden toothpick, it's very, very small. These come in about 100 different thicknesses, so that is a calibration shim. If you lose it, we can't just send you one because we'd be guessing on what size that is you need. Okay, going back together with it, we've got our idle spring or idle shim. Spring. I hope you can see this well enough, but there's several different machines. Now, on this DNH receiver, the very thinnest part is going to be the part that goes up to you when you install it. So thin part facing directly up. There we go. Now our DNH, this can be a bit tricky. You want to be sure that you do not lose that. You want to be sure that it lays perfectly flat inside the injector. I'm using my wooden toothpick just to make sure that I've got it perfectly flat. Our new nozzle is going to go on. We want to be sure that the surface between the nozzle and the injector is perfectly clean. Any sort of leaks there can cause hard start issues and a lack of rail pressure. Going back together. Now, your nozzle nut had carbon and oil and grit inside of it. I need you to be sure that you use that bucket of brake clean to get all that stuff out of there. To keep this video short and sweet, we're not going to go through and do that type of stuff. I want to keep you guys' attention right here because, well, if you're anything like me, anything over about three minutes and you're pretty much over watching it. So, there's that. Going back in the vise, we've got our torque wrench set to 35 pound feet. We're going to go ahead and torque that to 35. Now that that's done, we would take one of the new coppers out of the packet that we've provided for you. We would take some transmission assembly goo and onto the injector. Now that grease is going to act like a third hand and make sure that that copper doesn't fall off when you're going back in the motor and installing that in there so there you have it it's pretty simple 
and uh, pretty much anybody can do this in their backyard. If you have any problems, be sure you give us a call, 208-209-3214, or dynamitediesel.com. You can find us on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, any type of social media that's imaginable. You can look for us there. Shoot us an email, salesdynamitediesel.com. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day.